This video is sponsored by Sweetwater. Last year, I had an incredible time visiting their campus in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We shot a bunch of fun content and the place blew me away. Their attention to detail in every piece of musical equipment that comes through their facility makes them the best place to buy your gear. I have an affiliate link from Sweetwater below, so check it out. Thanks for supporting, and let's get to it. Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, gonna work on that Hendrix version of Voodoo Child. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate so much uh, you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification. And then I got free courses down in the links below and other cool bonuses. So thank you for all that support. Let's break it down. <laughs> So we'll just go phrase by phrase real quick. We're half step down, half step down tuning. Uh, I've got the wah cam going so you can see that. When I'm cocked all the way back with the wah, that's uh, that kind of darkest, deep, uh, lowest sound, uh, the most muffled, and then that's the brightest. So it's real important to kind of stay up higher in this area that's where that voice is. That, when you go all the way down, not as much. So, see that? I didn't go all the way down. So, we're in the key of E. It's the E minor pentatonic. And so that's the ninth fret of the G string, which is an E note, although we are tuned down a half step, just referring to it as standard. So we rake into it. With lots of vibrato. I'm using my ring finger. And then a little ghost stroke, but just keep in mind, open G, open B. I've seen that in tabs, etc. Any of the open strings here, the A, D, and G, and B, can work as your doing these little hammer-on things. This is a key of E, so. So then I'm hammering from seven to nine on the D string. So. And then I'm using my index finger to go to the fifth fret. And what you're hearing is a half step bend and then natural. So from the top of that. One more time. And so on this first one, you hear a little ghosty thing and it sounds like open A string and then a real quick five, seven pull off. But it's so fast that, and he's not really picking it either, right? He picks that same idea in a second, but. When you do it slow, it almost doesn't work, but check it out when I do it up to speed. See, it's in there, you know? 
It's very vibey. And if you look at footage, listen to live footage, he never played it the same way twice. And the Stevie Ray thing, same thing. Never played it the same way twice. So I'm going off that original recording, but also the concepts. So we've got... So I'm doing that bend, natural, seven. So vibey. You know, there's there's raking and muting going on there. You can't just go like. Although I did hear that, and you got to start that way, so no judging. So here's what we got. And then the second time, which is a kind of like, a, well, it is a. So that's just all between the nine and the seven. So G string. And it goes from nine to seven to end that phrase. Okay. So now we're on to the next phrase. And so nothing's too different, which is good news. It starts the same. And then you just basically hear the open D string of the finger pulling off. So check it out. Hear that? So when you see an official sheet music or tab or something, it'll say an open D string, but it's more of the vibe that he's getting, right? But that's how you would transcribe it. So from the top, and there's also a chuck Once again, cocked back on that wah. All in that kind of upper register, unless you ch change the the gear of the wah, but you know, right in there. So, so the second time. It doesn't do the. Instead, it does. Which is a. And then basically an open G or a ghost, right? Once again. So now I'm just going. Once again, you you know, lots of little little bit of bending, not too much. And lots of that that um raking into those notes for that extra extra sound too. So that second one, right? Now it starts over, drums come in. So now it does that same, but it's more pronounced. So good news. It's just more of a. Yeah. 
<laughs> see that? Let me try it. When you do it slow, it just doesn't quite give feel that same way, but. Uh, so I varied it there. Let, we didn't do the, the last two phrases. So the first phrase. Drums come in. So this last one before the right, it goes. You hear that E root. But once again, they're all kind of loosey goosey. But that last one before the you can do. And you hear, clearly you hear that, but it's like a still kind of a variation of. The, <laughs> Lots of noise in there, okay? So, from the top. So the good news is the stays the same, where it doesn't do so that every other, the very last one, it does that into the so goes right into it. And by the way, it's all E minor pentatonic. And we're going to uh, That's a bend on the 10th fret B string. And I've got that overdrive on. And when we kick into it, uh, when I say kick it, we're going to kick it one time. All right, so now we are in the E rock zone. We've got the E major chord. We've got the E7 chord. We've got the E Hendrix chord. Where you're basically just hitting, stabbing the uh, third fret of that being high E. And so then you've also got this either full E chord or E power chord. So that time I muted the G string, which I like that sound a lot. Stevie sound a bit too. Here, here it is with a press down. So they're both in there, but you've got this vibe. Or. And so you've got the E and then a pull down on that third fret of the E string. And then you're hitting the root, which is that second fret D string. And then you've also got the uh, 
second fret G string bend. <laughs> Now that classic lick, you can do it in a myriad. That's my big word in this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I mean, I like it in the power zone, the home row 12th fret E minor pentatonic. When in doubt, pent it out. Because basically from here, if you're going to be jamming this song, now it's just how many shredding minor pentatonic and blues licks do you know in E, in the key of E, baby, our favorite. So we've got... <laughs> Know, whatever rock out you got that whole spot uh also this Minor pentatonic. This spot of the E minor pentatonic. So that's just right from the E minor pentatonic root on the fifth fret B string, three, five, so. Right back into. And then. So. That's uh, three, open, back, Side up to five. Back to three, you know, still once again, all E minor pentatonic. Oh, and also, yeah, so he goes to stand up next to a mountain. It, it holds on E for a while before it goes, goes to it again.
Thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate the support. Uh, once again, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel here and click the bell notification. And then also check those links down there for all kinds of bonuses, including free courses. Thanks again. Hope to see you later.